Hello Art Cadets and welcome to today's video. At the end of last week's video I said you'd need a piece of tracing paper, a piece of plain paper, pencil, rubber and something to colour it in. So what I thought we'd do today is we'd do a self-portrait with a bit of a twist. We're going to turn ourselves into a cartoon. So if you're ready, let's start. So at the end of last week's video I said you'd also need a picture of yourself. Now I printed one off just on a piece of computer paper like this and it's about half the size of A4 which is A5 and so what we're going to do with that one is we are going to then take our tracing paper and lay it over the top of our picture and just trace the outline with a pencil. Okay, so we've outlined the basic shape. We haven't paid too much attention to detail because what I think is important with this little exercise is that it shows us um, that the head shape, on my case anyway, is a bit more square. There was me thinking I had a round head. But actually, if you look at the shape here, the angles around the bottom of the chin, they aren't round and obviously one of the features of my face is that I've got glasses and long hair. So look at the same with your picture and we will characterise those in a minute. Right, so the most important thing after we've traced a basic outline is to then turn this over, okay? Now I'm just using a white piece of scrap paper underneath and you can see it's round the wrong way but it won't be for long. So what I want you to do now is trace back over with your pencil the lines you've already made. So there we have it. There's step two. Step one was trace it initially. Step two, turn the tracing paper over and trace again so that <clears throat> on step three, when you turn your tracing paper back over, and you can see it's done a little outline here on our scrap piece of paper, your background the right way. So for our final step in transferring our face shape onto a piece of paper, we then have to one last time hold our tracing paper down. You can clip it if you need to, um, just put some paper clips to stop it moving around. You can outline it again. Done. And then we lift that up and we have traced over our picture. We have transferred it to our drawing paper. You can only see a very faint outline there, but that's fine because we're going to alter some of those um, features. And I want you to look at your picture. So if I go back to my picture here, you can see, yes, I've got glasses, that's a bit distinguishing, um, long hair, smiley face, and a giant nose. And then you can change it any which way you want to make it your little cartoon. So there's lots of different things you can do, but I thought to start with, we'll just trace around the outside like this, and just maybe emphasize the hair on this one. This is also a really good exercise to show you that um, when you start drawing people's faces it can show you whereabouts things are. So if you look about at the top of my head and the bottom of my chin, about halfway is where my eyes are and then nose is sort of a little bit under that and then my mouth. So I'll just illustrate on this piece of scrap paper what people often do is when they've drawn a head, just sketching a head, they think, oh, my eyes are up there, my nose is in the middle, and my mouth down there. But actually, you can see that's not quite right. If we go back to our picture, we'll see our eyes are in the middle, and then if we divide that last bit up, 
the nose and mouth a bit further down, aren't they? So if we use this as an example again, and we think about a line maybe halfway, if we do our eyes there, and divide this next bit into three, roughly speaking, our nose is there, and our face is there. So actually, all of this bit up here is our forehead and our hair. And we can see that when we've traced our picture, can't we? So it looks a little bit more in proportion. So there we go. And going back to here, we go and start tracing out where we've got the marks on the paper. We can pick out our features. This also is a good exercise to see what sort of face shape you've got, because like I said earlier, I thought my face was round. And you, you don't have to do it on a picture, but if you look in the mirror as well, you can see that our faces aren't all the same shape. Some are square, some are oval, some are heart shaped, some are round. Okay, so my sh face shape is a bit more angular, and so I've drawn it in like that. So next we're going to look at the glasses. Now if you wanted to really cartoon it up, you can make these even bigger if you wear glasses or you can add all sorts of different things like hats and bigger mouths and all sorts. You can have some fun, play about with it. Okay, so there's my glasses and they'll be double. They're a bit thicker than just one line, aren't they? But we can ink them in later. Maybe something like that. And eyes. Eyes are really important when you're drawing cartoons. So you can see where um, we traced out the outline, where our eyes are. But actually we're going to draw them a little bit different. We're going to draw them like cartoon eyes. So what I'm going to do for this is, instead of where they are, I'm going to bring them slightly lower, like that, probably about the same width, because that's a good position, it'll tell you where they are. I'm just going to do them a bit lower. Ideally, they'll still be in a straight line, but I'm at a bit of a funny angle for the camera, so make sure your eyes line up across there. And then, instead of doing like an almond shape or a, an oval shape, I'm going to make it a bit larger like this. So I'm going to do like a half circle like that. And that's my cartoon eye shape, okay? Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the coloured part of the eye, which is called the iris, in each side. And as you can see, it's starting to look a bit cartoony. And then the pupil, okay, which is the black bit of the eye, and that's just another circle. Again, trying to get in the same shape and size. Right, now then, when you draw um, an eye, you're not just, just trying to illustrate on here, where you've got the eyelid would normally go, say on here and under here, you wouldn't always see the top of the eye. So you only actually see that bit, don't you? You don't see the perfect circle. Now with cartoons you can, you can do whatever you like. But on this one I've kind of drawn the iris so that you don't get the whole oval shape because some of it will be underneath the eyelids there. So I'm going to draw a little line like that just to show where the bottom of the eye would be under the lid. And we can do the same on the top, just a little indication of where that fold would be. Okay, so next I am going to do some indication of eyelashes so that just means that on the bottom there I'm just going to curve it over that side on the bottom and then on the top I'm going to curve it up 
You don't have to draw individual eyelashes, you can if you want. There's lots of different styles of eyes and noses and mouths that you can cartoon things with and perhaps at the end of the video I will draw some examples for you to look through like I did with the gallery on last week's video. So you can have a play around with it and you can have a look at some of my ideas or come up with your own. Okay, so we've got some eyelashes and they will come over the top like that and kind of flick out. You only need to do a couple maybe. Alright, so that's looking pretty even. And when we get to colouring in, I'll tell you about colouring in the um, pupil there because it's also important with cartoons to leave a nice lot of light and which would be reflective in the wet surface of the eye. Eyebrows next. So my eyebrows are really pale. I think I'm going to draw them a bit darker so that they stand out and really thick. Okay, so just do two sort of shapes like that. You can do them higher up, you can do them really bushy, you can play around and do what you like with your eyebrows. I've gone too far now, look. I'll just pencil those in so you can see where they are. Okay because a combination of eyebrows and eyes give you an example of expression and different combinations of different eyebrows, where they are, what angle they're at, as well as the eyes can give you lots of different expressions. So don't forget them. Right, nose. Now, I'm not liking the shape of my nose on this. It looks very wide. So I'm gonna change it about a bit and I'm just going to do like a little line like that. We're still following the shape of the nose, but I'm not going to go in and draw lots of um, detail and nostrils and that sort of thing. Again, if you want to, you can. But I'm just going to do it a bit like that. Make that a bit straighter as well. Okay, so easy nose. And as I said, I can draw some examples of noses for you to have a go with at the end as well. Or you can just simply choose or follow the line of the nose that you've got in your picture. So then we move on to the mouth. Now mouths can be quite difficult, but what we need to look at is on the, the open part of the mouth. I'll just give you an example of what I mean. Quite often people will, let's use this example again, people will just draw a line like that. I'm talking about this line here, a straight line where their lips meet like that, but actually it's not often like that. If you look carefully, you have almost a shallow shape like that, a shallow M shape, okay? And that's where the lips meet. And then you can sort of think about the top lip and the bottom lip, okay? And then obviously shade it as you would but the point is not to make the line there just a straight line. Okay, so back to our picture then. Okay, so we can do the line there, and I've done it at an angle there. It's not just a straight line. Obviously, it'll just depend, dis depend even, can't speak, um, on what expression you've got. If you're smiling, if you're grumpy, if you're sad, or anything like that. But do the middle line first and then I'm just going to do the top lip there. Now my top lip isn't very big but it just does go down slightly in the middle. Okay and then I think I might make the bottom of my mouth a bit bigger. So just because we can. So I've just extended it a little bit at the bottom and I'm going to make myself more smiley. So I'm just going to draw in the bottom lip here and I'm going to be smiling. Okay. And then I'm also going to do a little mark in the middle where 
as an indication of teeth. Okay. I'm trying to draw it evenly because I'm doing it at a funny angle, so you can spend a bit more time on yours. And there we go. Lastly, I think to make it more cartoony, I'm just going to draw myself a thinner neck. Why not? Okay, and perhaps I'll draw an indication of where your top would go. Is that straight? Let me see. So there we go. Um, what have I forgotten? Ears. So normally your ears didn't really show up on my picture because my hair was in front of them, but I think I'm going to include just um, a suggestion of where your ears will go. Now your ears normally go in line with your eyes and nose. So we're just going to do a little ear coming out here and the same the other side. In fact, I think I might just do one that comes out like that because I usually tuck my hair behind my ear especially when I'm drawing. So we have to make sure, especially if you wear glasses, that your glasses are in a position that they can actually hook over your ear, otherwise it would look a bit odd. And there we go. So that's our cartoon drawing. Now we've just got to colour it in. But first, we are going to just outline it in black. So if you've got like a thin um, outlining pen or a thin felt tip, then use that. Okay, I'm going to start at the top and work down and you can do yours too. So there we go, I've outlined my cartoon me and once the ink's dry, so we don't want to smudge it, I'm going to rub out the pencil lines I made underneath before we colour it in. One thing I did want to say, and I think I forgot, was just to say that when you're doing the eyes, leave a little white bit in the pupil. So when you're doing them, I'll just try and illustrate on here, when you colour it in, so that's your pupil, you need to leave a little square before you colour in the black bit of your eye to show the light, okay? Right, so I'm just going to rub out my pencil lines and then we can colour it in. Okay, so I've decided to use a colour pencil for this but you can use felt tips or paints or whatever you like and I've got... this will depend on obviously what colour hair and skin you've got and what colour eyes so I'm going to do um, a yellow it's kind of a yellow um, for my hair and to start with I'm just going to do it all one colour and perhaps add in some extra colour afterwards and I'm using a pinky colour for my face I'm just going to try and, try and do it quite evenly so we've done an even covering of um, pink on the face now then with a cartoon um, because we're not doing like lifelike illustrations, we are just going to give an indication that there's a bit of shadow under the where the hair flops over here. It makes it a bit more interesting. Right, I am going to do my eyebrows in this, it's, I don't know what colour it is, 
Um, it's a little bit more sandy coloured, but not quite brown, so I'm just going to fill those in. And I'm also going to do this colour, use this colour, to put a bit of a different colour in my hair there, because it's not really that yellow. There, we're getting there. And then we had just got to finish up with the eyes. Now I've got green eyes, so I'm just going to go in and do this bit here, so it's not um, the black bit, it's there. Remember to leave that little bit of light that I said about. And that's your reflection, okay? Right, and last of all, we are going to finish, I said a bit more about the thickening um, the glasses up, so I'll just do that. So there we are, another video done, Art Cadets. I hope you've had fun turning your photo into a cartoon. If you've enjoyed today's video then please like and subscribe and share it with all your friends and we'll see you again next week. What you'll need for next week is a piece of paper, colouring pens and a pencil. Okay, see you then. Bye!